Hello, and welcome to the Restore and Adjust Part 1 for the Ampex VR1200B. This is what the machine looked like when I first started to attempt to clean it and adjust it. It's in pretty bad condition, as you can see. Here are some of the circuit boards for the signal system and the intersync servo system. Each board had to be cleaned and adjusted and any obvious failures repaired like uh, bad capacitors or a burned up resistor. These are the power supplies. That's the 12 volt power supply there. The next one is the 24 volt power supply. And the last one is the 135 volt power supply. They're very heavy. A lot of iron in those guys. Now we'll remove them so we can get the frame out. Here's the rear of the power supply. I'm going to take off this trim piece and then disconnect all of the wires uh, that are going to the power supply. Uh, a lot of these wires are uh, in or caged uh, together so that it makes uh, removal uh, and reinstallation fairly easy. However, this one <laughs> is not that way. Each one of the connections is uh, individual wire. Uh, some are two connections uh, for each screw. Uh, that takes a little bit of a while to disconnect. And I also use these uh, cable numbers to make sure I get the wires back in the right spot. You wouldn't want to put, uh, you know, number two on number one. So here I am disconnecting the final wires. And those are uh, locked together so that it comes apart as one piece. So now let's try to get this thing out of there. Uh, I've removed those power supplies that you saw from the front. And uh, now I'm trying to pull that entire frame from the front. There we go. Now that that uh, top portion uh, or the front portion is up, I can pull it out. Those rear supports were obviously loosened. And uh, I'm going to check to make sure that no wires are uh, caught as I went to uh, pull it out. So here's the uh, view from the front. So I needed to clean this guy. Uh, obviously you can <laughs> tell from the dirt on the top. It hasn't been cleaned in a while. So we'll, uh, we'll get that cleaned up and we'll also check the fans. One fan is not working. I've got three operational. So here's that uh, standard 120-volt uh, fan. Make sure you uh, get it in the right direction so it blows air up into the uh, power supply bay. And uh, four nuts and screws, and we're done. Yep. All four fans working. That's important because the power supplies will overheat if you don't have that cooling air blowing on them. So that's all cleaned and inspected, uh, tightened up all the wires, and it's all set to go back into the frame. So we'll pick up the rear, pull it in. And then I want to put those rear supports on because that's, uh, that's important for the, uh, for the load uh, since this thing gets really heavy when you put the power supplies in. So I use the other support just to lift it up a little bit so I can get the screws in. By the way, there's that new power receptacle, that uh, circular white thing there in the middle. Uh, I've uh, I put that into the uh, power supply frame. This one, for some reason, didn't have a connector on it, so uh, that could be bad news. 
<laughs> or good news. Uh, but uh, there's a new connector on it now. And we do the same thing to the other side, and it's uh, lined up, so uh, now I can put a couple of screws in the front. And I won't show you every screw going in. That uh, does get kind of boring. Here are some uh, filters from the other fan assembly on the left side of the machine. And yeah, I'd say that one should be replaced. Uh, pretty dirty. Okay, now here is uh, at 1,000% speed uh, hooking everything back up to the power supply. Uh, I don't think you wanted to see this in regular speed. <laughs> it takes too long. Making sure all the right numbers go to the right spots. This is not something you want to do often on the uh, 1200 because it does take uh, take some time. These are just uh, insulating covers uh, that go over to uh, make sure nothing touches the uh, bare wires. Okay, and then we put this uh, decorative frame uh, back on the uh, rear of the machine. It takes a little playing around to get these uh, screws in to have everything perfectly uh, lined up. By the way, after I uh, took it off, I also used that opportunity to uh, clean it, since uh, everything on this machine is uh, pretty dirty. And here I'm removing the uh, panel uh, underneath the uh, in and out panel. And uh, for some reason they had a connection here from the audio ins and outs. Uh, I'll have to trace those wires down and see where they go. This is something that uh, someone at the TV station did for some reason. I'll have to find out what it is. Uh, and now let's uh, just take off that hose and uh, this is the the wiring harness that goes up to the upper portion of the machine. Uh, we'll take that out and then um, we'll start taking off the screws uh, so I can get the um, uh, little pedestal removed right here. And now I want to work on that uh, one top portion uh, frame of the machine. So I can clean them and also so I can get a good look inside the top of the machine. And this is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two.